All right, the series finale, Yankees-Mets, Yankee Stadium, Game 2. I have the lineups for you. Um, and, uh, you know, they're coming off of right there. They're on a two-game winning streak. Hopefully, they put together a third straight win today. And, uh, you know, I want to say something about this team before I give you the lineup. This team has shown the ability to be special, right? We've seen it in the first half of the season. It's also shown its ability to be terrible and unwatchable, like we've seen over the last, I don't know, six weeks. Now there's an opportunity, in my opinion, for them to show the, exactly what they can do. Can they climb themselves out of this self-imposed hole and fight back and put themselves in a position to do what they started this season to do, it's to win a damn World Series. You know, this I think they can. Now, do I think they will? I don't know. But I think they can. They're showing us some things again. And as much as, you know, there's, there's a fair share of blame to be put around across the board, management teams, coaches, and blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I would much rather this team fight back and win the damn World Series. Because all will be forgiven if that happens. Right? It will be. And the Yankees have the people here to go pretty damn far in this season. And again, they're showing some fight again. There's some new guys on here showing, you know, they're finding their way on this team. We still have some guys coming back from injury too. So the team will be stronger. You know, the roster expands in a couple of days. And they'll have the ability to add a couple of players. And I think they'll do that, obviously, when they should. But how do we know this team this year? I mean, we know... We, and we know them as a special team, right? And then we've known them as a shitty team. The other way around. And now it's the opportunity to go back to that special team. But the, the, that's the key word, right? Team. They're winning together and they're losing together. So what they're going to do is really uh, <laughs> determinable of how, um, how this season's going to end. And there's still some baseball left. So with that... Let me give you the lineup. And it, by the way, and this is kind of my, I don't know, I, I, I'm kind of inspired. I just watched We Are Marshall so <laughs> with Matthew McConaughey. And that's a freaking phenomenal movie. But it kind of just made me think about this Yankees team. Because We Are Marshall, they were in this rut after a tragedy, right? Self-imposed rut. And then they, they wanted to figure out how to get out of that and become that team again. Become Marshall, become part of the community again. Well, I think the Yankees are in a similar boat. Obviously, a different not a, not a, coming off a tragedy, but coming coming off a, a great period, going right into a terrible period, and now they have the ability to resurrect themselves. But that's just the way I look at it. You let me know what you think, and I'll be I'll live stream tonight after the game. Hopefully, we can celebrate a win or even a walk off win. So please subscribe if you haven't done that, and hit the notification if you do subscribe. So I don't want you missing stuff. But we have Andrew Benatendi leading off in left field. We've got DJ LeMahieu batting second at third base. Aaron Judge center field and third batting third. Anthony Rizzo batting fourth at first base. Glaber Torres batting fifth at second base. Josh Donaldson's DHing. Batting 6th, Oswaldo Cabrera is in right field, batting 7th. IKF is batting 8th at shortstop, and Kyle Higashioka is at the dish, batting ninth. And on the mound, his battery mate, Frankie Montez, who also has the ability to go out there and put up a good, a good, you know, a good start and put them in a position to win. We need it. They need it. Okay? Frankie Montez needs it. And you know, I, I, am, I am happy to see the first part of this lineup, the Benatendi, the DJ, Judge and Rizzo, and I think Stan, when Stan comes back, I would put him at fifth. So that's more indicative of a top half lineup. That seems to be more uh, in, in service of the, of the talents on this team: some speed, and then some contact, and some power, and some you know manufacturing run ability. So I like what I'm seeing there. I hope they continue to put that together and finish the second half of that lineup. I really, really do. Once guys come back, Carpenter and Bader and whatnot, and obviously Stanton, who will be back Thursday. You'll be in Oakland for the Oakland trip. So, and uh, but you let me know what you think. So, uh, I wasn't trying to preach here, but that's just the kind of the way I'm thinking about it. And again, like I said, I ride, die, I ride or die with this team. So yeah, I want to find ways to win instead of just dwelling on the losses because they're gonna come no matter who the team is. But that's just me. You let me know what you think, gang. Let's get into this one. 